Hello and welcome back to our how to electro series and in this video we're going to be doing some more testing but we're going to be doing insulation resistance. The purpose of this test is to ensure that there is adequate insulation resistance throughout our installation on all the fixed wiring and non-electronic accessories. Effectively what the test will do is to make sure that the insulation between live conductors, line and neutral, and live conductors and earth is good. It's very important that any electronic equipment, devices, components are not subject to this test because it can, it can damage the component parts. We'll be putting an applied DC voltage throughout our installation. Also, it may affect the readings that we obtain. According to BS7671, the value they require is a value greater than one mega ohm. However, anything below two mega ohms should be investigated. You really want to gain a, a high reading. So now we're going to set up the uh, meter. We're going to place our first dial onto 500 volts and our second dial onto 200 mega ohms. But this time we're not going to use the auto lock function. We make sure the main switch is off and our circuit breakers are all switched on so we can do our test at the main switch as it will test all the way through our insulation so we don't have to do each circuit in turn. Our first test between line and neutral. Get good firm connection to the switch using our probes and then we press the test button. I'm able to do this with one hand. and we get a, a value reading greater than 200 mega ohms, which is sufficient. Our next step is to test between our line and our earth. Now, you may ha have trouble placing your probes between line and earth and holding them on with one hand getting a firm connection. If this is the case, we can take off one of our probes and we can place our green copper cloud clip, crocodile clip, onto the earth bar. Freeing up one hand as I place my probe onto the line of the main switch and then we can press the test button, greater than 200 mega ohms, sufficient. Last test to do is between neutral and earth. Again, freeing up one hand, we can place our green crocodile clip onto the earth bar, place our probe onto the neutral bar and again press the button test greater than 200 mega ohms. You may have noticed that when we test between line and earth we never tested the switch line of our two-way switching. So must point out, when you're doing that test between line and earth, you should test it once as we did before, but then you should also switch one of the switches and retest. And that will conclude the whole of the insulation resistance test uh, for this little insulation. All that has to be done now is go over to our test sheet and put the results down.
and we got a greater than value. So we can input a greater than 200 in each block. So that concludes now our how to electro series. Thanks for watching. Please do look back on some of the other videos and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.